Coming to you from Annapolis, Maryland, home of the U.S. Naval Academy, the sailing capital of the world, home of the world's largest crab feast, and four signers of the Declaration of Independence. This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, a daily roundup of local news that you can use, including local sports, local events, local opinion, and local weather from DMV Weather. Now here's your host, publisher of Eye on Annapolis, John Frenet. Good morning. It is Friday, April 27th, 2018. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. A horrible tragedy unfolded yesterday in Severn. A Baltimore man identified as Harry Ray killed his wife, Amber Lynn Cox, in their Baltimore County home. And then Ray apparently took his three sons, seven-year-old twin and a six-year-old, to the Red Lobster at Arundel Mills Mall where he left them with some people. Eventually, the people became worried and concerned. They called the police, who found Ray with a self-inflicted gunshot wound in his truck on Sandy Farm Road in Severn. There is no idea as to the motives. The medical examiner is investigating the cause of death, and police will be updating this as the details become available. Congratulations to Heather Carnigan from Monarch Global Academy in Laurel. She is the Anne Arundel County Teacher of the Year, and this is the first time for a charter school or a contract teacher to win the honor. On the opposite side of honor, we've got dishonor, and Bill Cosby just had his honorary degree from Johns Hopkins University rescinded after a Pennsylvania jury found him guilty of drugging and molesting a Temple University employee back in 2004. Johns Hopkins is not alone. Also, the University of Notre Dame rescinded his honorary degree, which was awarded back in 1990. As the deadline to plunk down a deposit for college is right around the corner, Forbes magazine has ranked the best value colleges in America. Six colleges from Maryland made the list, but keep in mind that value doesn't necessarily mean cheap because Harvard, Princeton, UCLA, and right here in Maryland, Johns Hopkins University are all on the list. But University of Maryland College Park, with a tuition of ninety nine ninety six, was on the list. Johns Hopkins, which we had mentioned, with a tuition of 48710 UMBC, go Chesapeake Bay Retrievers, with a tuition of 11006 Towson University, with a tuition of 9182 St. Mary's College of Maryland, with a tuition of 13895 and Salisbury University rounded out the list with a tuition of 9086 So there you go. If you're thinking about college, there are some that you probably should take a look at. That's about it for the news. Hang tight because we've got George Young with DMV Weather coming right up after Sean O'Neill with RBC Wealth Management. And at the very end, of course, because it is Friday, we've got our picks for the best things to do this weekend. I'm Sean O'Neill, your local RBC Wealth Management Advisor. When you choose to work with me, you'll have access to a worldwide network of financial products and services only available from a leading global institution. RBC's international reputation for physical strength and stability, world-class capabilities, and corporate values is unique in the financial services industry. I also recognize the importance of reinvesting in the communities in which we live and work, and I'm committed to serving my clients by building long-term relationships based on trust, integrity, and confidence. I look forward to helping you with your wealth management needs. Call me, Sean O'Neill, today at 410-573-6723 for a complimentary consultation. RBC Wealth Management, a division of RBC Capital Markets, LLC. Member NYSE, FINRA, and SIPC. This is Maryland. The weather can be nearly unpredictable. We've got George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis to sort it all out. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Friday, April 27th. We'll have a bit of everything over the next three days, today through the weekend, starting with clouds and rain today and temps in the lower 60s, followed by a nice rebound tomorrow with plenty of sun and temps back to yesterday's levels of 65 to 70 plus degrees, but that'll come with a chance of a late shower as a cold front approaches from the west-northwest. And then behind that cold front will be some fairly chilly air and breezy conditions Sunday, along with tons of sun, as temps are only upper 50s to lower 60s, and winds will gust to 20 to 30 plus miles per hour. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Enjoy the upcoming weekend with family and friends, or whatever you do by yourself. And as always, remember one thing, whatever the weather outside, have fun and be safe.
Hi, this is Randy. And Claudia Boldiga. Please join us and our presenting sponsor, RXNT, on Saturday, April 28th, on AAMC's South Campus for Denim and Diamonds Bash. Proceeds will benefit mental health and addiction services in our community. Now more than ever, we need to focus on this critical need. The bash sold out last year, so don't delay and join us for this fabulous night under the stars. Can't make the party? You can still help by purchasing a raffle ticket. This year's raffle is a stunning four-piece amethyst jewelry collection donated by Saison Jewelers, valued at $5,000. Only 100 tickets will be sold for the raffle, so don't miss out. For event or raffle tickets, go to aamcdenimanddiamonds.org. Thanks for your support of Anne Arundel Medical Center's efforts to improve the availability of mental health and addiction services throughout our community. Remember, it's not just a party. It's a party with a purpose. Need to make plans for the weekend? We got you covered. Here are our top picks. Be sure to visit ionanapolis.net to sign up for the event's newsletter with a listing of all the upcoming area events. Thank God it's... Wow, there are a ton of things to do this weekend, so let's get right into it in no particular order. Tomorrow from 2 to 8 p.m. over at Pirate's Cove down in Galesville, it is Pigs and Pearls. It is an oyster and barbecue to benefit the Western Road Riverkeeper. Tickets are still available. They are available online or at the door. Go on down there. Check out Pirate's Cove. It is also coinciding with the opening of the Pirate's Cove Dock Bar. Today, Saturday, and Sunday, it's the Bay Bridge Boat Show just over the bridge on Kent Island, and this is the powerboat equivalent of the sailboat show that was just in Annapolis last weekend. Tickets are available at the gate. Head on over there. If you've got the powerboat itch, they've got something to scratch it. Tomorrow morning from 9 to 3, Gavin Buckley invites everybody to come reimagine City Dock. There will be a big tent down at Susan Campbell Park, and Fred Kent, who is a renowned consultant and place builder, will be on hand to help lead the conversation. The big soiree, the big party for Anne Arundel Medical Center is tomorrow night. The Denims and Diamonds will be taking place at the South Campus on Jennifer Road. The bash is sold out. However, it is benefiting mental health in Anne Arundel County, and we do need some more mental health help, and you can still help by going to aamcdenimanddiamonds.org. There is an auction. There is a raffle that you can participate in there, even if you're not able to get into the event. Tomorrow from 10 to 5 at the Key School, it is the Annapolis Book Festival. If you have a passing love for book, if you have a passionate love for books, this is a must-see event down at the Key School. Chris Matthews from Hardball will be there to moderate a couple of the panels, answer some questions. It has a little mini Comic-Con. Great fun at Key School tomorrow from 10 to 5. Tomorrow and Sunday, St. Michael's is having their annual Spring Wine Fest from noon to 5. Tickets are still available. You can get them online. Or if you want to make it extra special, head on over to Watermark Journey because Watermark Tours right here in Annapolis is offering a trip on Sunday. The Saturday one is sold out to the Wine Fest. It does include admission to the Wine Fest, a continental breakfast on the way over, and a box dinner on the way back. The boat leaves City Dock at 10 a.m., goes over to St. Michael's, and it will return to City Dock at 7 p.m. It does include your admission to the Wine Festival as well as your meals, and tickets are available at watermarkjourney.com. That's enough for the weekend. Have fun, be safe, and we will see you on Monday. Thanks for listening to the Ion Annapolis Daily News Brief. If you like what you heard, make sure to tell your friends and colleagues about it. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find much more. Be sure to check out our other weekly podcast, The Maryland Crabs. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.